How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the Proof Technique Optiline Smart RS5. Okay, these are the accessories um, supplied. We've got the instrument, transducers, we've got chains, uh, fixtures, we've got a magnetic bracket, tape measure, comms cables, uh, there's manuals if you need them in the top here. Uh, everything you need to do an alignment. Okay, we're, we're going to do an alignment here. Um, I'm going to use the magnetic brackets, so I'll just get the magnetic brackets out. You've got to slide them off. Magnetic bracket this end, connected, and we slide this off. Oh. Magnetic bracket this end. Okay. Right, nice and nicely connected. Now, we've got to connect the two transducers, so I'll just um, take them off the chain mount and take the second one off the chain mount and uh, we'll start putting this together. Now we'll get out the RS5. Now to turn the instrument on I simply hit this enter key here. Okay the uh, Optiline RS5 is now booted up. Now you'll notice here that we've got uh, there's one transducer here and one there. One this one indicates it's got a yellow that indicates it's got a red. Now when we have these transducers this one this is the yellow which is this side it has the laser built in this is the other side so I'm going to now mount these on the um, on the motor. Okay I'm going to we'll just Take the uh, little cover off there and put this transducer on and slide it down and connect it. Now again, we take this transducer now uh, and slide it on and uh, putting the word name the right way up. And all right, they're both connected. Now I'll just turn the two transducers on. There's a little button here you push that turns that transducer on and the little button over here we push turns this two transducer on. This one has the Bluetooth built in. A little green light here will indicate whether it's aligned or not. Okay we now need to enter the dimensions. Now the first thing we've got to enter here is from the center line of this to the um, actual transducer. In this instance it's about um, 65 mil. So I enter 65 and I'll uh, hang on a second, I'll just clear that. 65, 65, enter. Now it's asking me that now the diameter of the uh, coupling, diameter of the coupling is about 130 millimeters. So I go 130, enter. It's asking now for the dimension between the center of the coupling and the first leg. So I'll just move from there and it's about center of the coupling first leg is about um, 80 millimeters. So I set this at 8, 0, enter. And now it's asking for a dimension between the two actual feet. So I'll just uh, do that dimension, which is about 100 and 175, 175 millimeters. So we put this back up here. So it's 175, enter. Now uh, ask for the engine speed, 115, 100 RPM. Well, we'll just don't know, that will do. Now it's asking whether or not we've got feet or you know what we've got on the other what this uh, motor is actually driving now in this instance um, i'm going to assume that there are no feet like for example in this case there's a pump there's no feet on this second half here so now we're all ready to go now here we hit this measurement button now it's initializing it's finding the two transducers now we can see from here, if you can see this little dot, this little dot here, now we've got to move the transducers so that we get it in line. All right, now that's nicely in line. Um, we can adjust it up and down using the dial on the transducer. 
Okay, now we're ready to take a measurement. Now, there's two types of measurements. We can either do three point measurements or we can do a continuous rotation. In this case, the default is three point measurements. So I'm going to do, I hit the enter key here and it does a measure. That's it. Now, I now turn it and take another measurement. And now I turn it again and take another measurement. And I rotate it last time and take a last measurement. Right, it now has sufficient information. Oh, actually, I might just do another, come back up to another point, say, for example, uh, over the top here, down this side, measurement there. Right. This has turned green, so we've now made our measurement. Okay, now we've completed the measure, it's turned green, so now we can hit this button here, which will give us our results. Right, we've actually got 0 0.02, 0 0.02 vertically, and out of line 0 0.02, 0 0.00, which is pretty, pretty close. Now, if we push the down arrow, we can see what the instrument looks like. This is... This is, these are smaller than the smallest shim size, essentially, so we really can't do much better than that. That's our, you can see this is the looking horizontally of the uh, machine. Now, if we look vertically, we could, for example, do an adjustment here. If we, this was out, we can hit the menu key and then come across to move. Now, what this will give us uh, it's just initializing is the fact that this will give us a live reading of the current um, thing so if I adjust if I adjust this here um, we'll find yes there we go I've adjusted it and consequently it's now the alignment is even better so I'll just um, lock that in place it and put that there right so we've done a live adjustment on that so our, it's pretty good now we can come back and just double check whether or not um, it's been correct so I'm going to hit live measure here we want to exit ask if we want to exit the live move so now just by way of example, I can at this point, if I wanted to, do a different type of measurement. I can, um, the measurement mode, I can set to a sweep mode, and we'll just set that to a sweep. Enter. So if I do a sweep measurement now, I just rotate it. And we can get, now we've got enough measurements there, but I'm going to take it to do a full rotation. Right, there's our full rotation and if we turn around now if I go right I'm happy with that now I can hit the um, results button here and it retrieves all the data and again we've got somewhat similar measurements and if we wanted to um, now again show live measurements I can hit menu and I can use this move option and get live measurements uh, again it's going to initialize we can make live adjustments now I'm going to exit out of this if I press the up a key yes we'll exit out live now last option here is that we can hit the menu key if we wish and we can come across um, over to more and we can save our file I can resume measurements etc very simple instrument to use and highly effective very quick to make alignment measurements and um, get your machinery operating smoothly thank you very much